Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're going to be talking about Naomi, Naomi Judd. Yes, we're going to be talking about her. Yes, 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 yes. Nothing bad, really. Nothing bad. Uh, Kind of trying to pay a little homage here and there. But what is going on with Ashley Face, y'all? I didn't say it. I had, did I do a video? I think I did do a video way back when uh, Naomi died. Mm-hmm. But I didn't mention nothing about Ashley Face. Y'all know how her face looked, right? Why did it look like it was that face right there? Like she had... One too many plastic surgeries done. I'm just saying. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all face is totally distorted. I'm like, where they do that at and why? You know? So, I don't know. Y'all get with me. Am I looking at this wrong? Okay. But we're going to really come. What we really came to the stage, the platform for. To uh, weigh in. Let my family, YouTube family weigh in with me on what they think. Y'all think it was foul play? Y'all see what I'm saying? Look at her face. I think she had two. She kind of remind me of Elvis Presley's wife, Priscilla Presley. And we know she had w way too many uh, plastic surgeries done on her face. Ah, these people and their vanity. I tell you, the people and their vanity. We're moving on from there. I just had to come back and do a story on Miss Naomi Judd because she left all her fortune, all her money to her husband. 25 million and i'm like uh, is that absurd or what i know she had grandkids i know she had some grandkids around now uh so and i i understand mr strickland yes larry is what they call him larry strickland he's um elderly i understand it too i really do understand it but who is he leaving the money to you see what i'm saying i'm okay with the fact that ashley and winona they have made their money they ain't hurting for anything at least i don't think so you know because we were trying to figure out was it foul play in this little scenario that they tried to make up on their mama that she may have you know off her own self that's exactly what she did she off her own self but uh you know we want to play a little detective here and there we might be finding out some things okay it still may be in their favor but i'm just saying we might uncover some things that both sisters wanted to just keep on the wraps, you know what I'm saying? On the hush hush. And only the them and the Lord know what went on. But we're gonna put your step to the side. We're gonna look at a little Larry over there. Little Larry. He reminds me so much of or he, he reminds me of by his name, uh, Portia Williams mama. Okay, she dating a Larry too. I'm like are all these Larry's just quiet and meek or are they really just being quiet and meek? To get to the real dollars. The dollar dollar bills out there. So called mate. Alright. But that's not the hero of there. I'm just going back to the whole thing. That page 6 had wrote out for us. Mm-hmm. Larry Strickland's last name. Man, there's so many ways I can play this story, but I'm trying to keep it on the up and up since we haven't had any foul play over the last six months of their mother passing. You know, Strickland or Larry, I don't think he's gotten another, you know, girlfriend or wife, you know. Uh, so, maybe they're all cool with the situation. But I don't care if, I'm, if, if my mama died and she died in that type of way and I know she had money, I would feel some kind of way. And she didn't break me off a little piece, you know what I'm saying? Just, just to keep me above water, you know. I'm already above water because, you know, I'm an actress, actor. You know, I'm just talking about the Judd sisters. And I sing well and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I still would feel some kind of way. Now, if I didn't have any talents out there and I was just like a regular old Joe 
which is I am, you know, have a little professional college sense, but you know, we don't want to get into that. That's not about me. We're about we talking about why on the drug. But I would feel some kind of way. I ain't gonna lie to you, my mama and my daddy. If I know they had means and they had means prior to leaving this world, uh, I was expect a little something, something, you know. But I have they, you know, they have a grandchild, and you know. Still, I'm getting older too, and I might not want to do the same thing I'm doing. Or I might want to retire earlier than 62. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, hmm. He left the whole kit and caboodle. So that's pretty Ashley Fage. You know what I'm saying? That's Ashley. And Ashley really don't look bad there. Maybe she stopped having plastic surgery, y'all. She still, you know, she looks a little plump in her face, but she's not a big woman. You know, she's never been a big woman. She's always been a little petite something running around here. And I definitely love that movie she was in, Double Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Very good movie. Very good movie. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Watch it. It's superb. She did a phenomenal job uh, in that movie. Okay? Uh, well, she was the leading lady as well. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I know, you know, I know... Their mama had mental illness, and maybe the people in her head were saying, don't leave it to your, your daughters. They cricket or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, cha I'm like, I had to tell my mom before she got really sick and really out of her mind and whatnot. I'm like, Mom, are you planning on leaving us anything? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you planning on leaving us anything? Called? I like Larry. Larry Strickland is what they call him. But I just don't know. I don't know if I trust them enough to give us something. You know what I'm saying? Cause we need a little something, something to cushion what we already got. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. I don't know about this Larry Strickland. You know, he was with you, but he wasn't with you when we were born. So, uh, he got some time to make up for harnessing on in your 25 million you left. But, honey, that's what they say. That's what they say. Uh, Naomi Judd left 25 million. Not thousand, million, okay? Not billion, million of dollars to one sole person, her husband. I mean, that was a good-ass man if she did that. I mean, I know her daughters are grown in here and there, but, you know, everybody need a little cushion, cushion, cushion. You know what I'm saying? In case they fall on hard times, they invest badly, they still got a little something, something left. But I don't know. Things could, you know, change. These Things could be appropriate. Things could be out of the public eye that they're doing, and we have no reason to get into their business. Because, you know, I'm nosy as hell, okay? And I try to bring back the news to my family. Something they can use, discard, or be, hmm, like, whoa, thank you for bringing that to my attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all can't be nosy, but I know my YouTube family, they nosy too. But I'm just a little bit nosier. And I have to go and get the tea, bring it back. Have my resources and then give y'all my uh, commentary on what I felt about the whole situation. Now I'm I'm cl I'm, I'm calling f foul foul on the game foul on the play. My mama didn't mean to leave you the whole twenty five million. And you're not a biological father either. Come on now, bro. Unless he's gonna cut them off something. I mean, he should just give them a million, tell them going about their business, or he he you know give them a million to hold them off a little bit. And as he get old, he don't design his will. That's what y'all need to be thinking. Y'all, Ashley and Winona, y'all need to be uh, seeing what his real his will reads. You know, is he giving it to some other woman he been dating behind mama back and she didn't know? Do he have any more children out there? Or do he even have children, period? Who is he leaving the money to? That's what that's the conversation I'd be having with him after I found out I was exed out of her will. You know what I'm saying? No mention of me or my sister getting something from Mother Dear. Seems like she was more mama dearest than anything else. Hmm. But anyway, let's go into what page six had reported on this issue. We have Carlos Greer, who brings out the story for us. He titles it Judd Family Friends Mystified by Supposed Rift over Naomi's Will. So they must be cutting up. They must be cutting up. They must be cussing, fussing, and tying up some furniture up in uh Naomi's was house or you know maybe the the uh Mrs. Strickland is still living there or not we don't know but something had to happen when they said when they title things rift okay and mystified <laughs> that's cold word for I'm finna kick somebody ass is what they what they're saying I'm finna get to the bottom of this uh, but anyway, that was just my pun intended, not in this man's article, but we go on. It says, after news broke that Naomi, or Naomi Judd, had named her widower 
As the executive of her estate, numerous reports surfaced that her daughters, Wyona, Judd, and actually Judd, had been left out of the will. Hmm, go figure, go figure. Couldn't be me. I don't say it couldn't be me. Because I'll be hell on wheels and I've still been turning like a tornado until I got my just due. But that's just me. What in this article? Going back to the article, it says, After the Daily Mail even reported that Winona is planning to contest the decision, but sources close to the family told page six that they're baffled by the claims. Uh, a source pointed out that just because of Larry Strickland, her husband of 33 years, Look at that word again, but that number 33, you know what I'm talking about? Woo, the illuminated ones, they just be getting down, don't they? But anyway, 33 years have been put in charge of the 25 million will, doesn't mean that uh, there's nothing will be left to the girls. Well, <laughs> if she did not specify, it could be saying that, bro, it could be saying just that. Uh, it's not known if other provisions were made in the will. You don't know all the arrangements the source said. They also said that the daughters are close with Strickland, who's 76. Hmm. So, I mean, that's, that's 13, right? Okay, all right. He's been in their lives since the late 70s from a really early age. He's not a stranger, they said. Mm, it's easy for people to say there must be trouble there, said the source. But for people who have been around them, Larry has always been there. They call him Pops. They all have a, a dorn, women adoring women adjoining farms. The source also pointed out that both women have their own fortunes. Okay, Naomi died by suicide on April the 30th. Doubtless, of course, there has been strife among the women. Winona acknowledged as much as just last month while performing at a Brandy Car what is it, Carlisle? Carlisle concert. Winona joined her on stage and mentioned her tough season of sadness. Since my mama's been gone for two months, I'm the artist formerly known as the Judds. She said, referring to the duo she formed with her mom. My sister's here tonight, and we are now the new Judds, and she's sitting off stage. Okay, I'm a Judd, not a judge. Forgiveness. Call somebody. And said, I'm sorry for my part. What can we do to heal? She told the crowd. Wyona then said, that's what we're doing tonight. We have been very disconnected because of the schedule and whatever you want to say. Family dysfunction. But we showed up tonight. She said before singing and dedicating Love is Alive to her sister Ashley. We're going to sing this song in honor of my my sister because it's been about 12 years since she heard me sing. I'm hoping she's saying like on stage or in a concert, not that, oh, it's been 12 years that I heard my sister Wyona did a little diddly here and there. You know what I'm saying? Woo, okay, but going back to the article. Wes was told, um, wait a minute. She had been 12 years since she heard me sing, and it's the beginning of a new chapter, she said. I was source told Winona was being really honest and open. And while they have not yet spoken about the will, if Ashley or Winona want to say something, they'll, they will work it out, they said, meaning the source. I'm like, they better be working out something, because I know. Okay? My mama had talent before she met Mr. Strickland. Mr. Larry is what they call him. She already had her stuff together, all right? Went through two men. As you know, she had different baby daddies or, uh, you know, whatnot, if I got it right. <sighs> but I really feel that she should have left something, especially if Winona or Ashley got kids, which I don't know if they do or not. Um, but if they do got kids, they, you know, they should have left the mama saying, oh, the mama saying, hell, it's the kids. But I don't know, hopefully Larry Strickland, they call them pops is what they call them. Uh, maybe he'll be very fair, very amicable, and he would, uh, dissolve the issues of the money, uh, fairly amongst them three, okay? And, uh, we won't have to be worried about, did they get their mama money, or did he take it all and run on into the sunset? But then again, we don't know what he had to put up with, with, uh, Naomi's, uh, mental illness state, you know? Very, uh, uncalculated, 
And, you know, you just never know when you're dealing with mental illness when you're going to be in a situation and, and, you know, when you're not going to be in a situation. I mean, somebody's cutting up, acting out of character, all right, and acting out of their demeanor, and then you're forced to, you know, be the caretaker of that person. So, I ain't saying he shouldn't get any money. I'm just saying it should be split up amicably. And, you know, if you know many of the girls, they know who were really taking care of their mama, then you should know they're going to get a little bit something more. But if you really want to just do the right, dutiful thing, you would split it in half. Well, like I say, I don't know Larry's plight in this situation. I don't know how uh, fun he was. Did he do everything he could for uh, Na Naomi while she was living? Was he a good spirit? Was he a good soul? You know, he treated everybody right. He treated everybody fair. You know, if, it that, if it's that type of situation, then hell yeah, let Larry have the whole $25 million Because Ashley definitely should have her money. And, um... One owner, she's been touring and doing concerts for a very long time. She should have her money too. Or, you know, maybe they should get like a, a what do you call it, a foundation for mental illness, a charity, you know, a, 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 a philanthropy type of organization, charter, chapter, or whatever you call it, um, foundation, 503C or something like that. Nonprofit, but it, it helps people with. Uh, mental illness now, i don't know what ashley was doing over there in south america or south africa but it seems like she had dislocated something in her leg you know what i'm saying I'm like what you was over there skipped to the dulu my darling you had to go to south africa and show up and show out and break some bones here and there and then you got to come back to the states like girl if you don't sit yourself down somewhere but um that's all i got for this video guys uh, I just thought I'd bring that up because, you know, anything, money involved, children involved, and, and a will that's strictly saying it's strictly for the, the, you know, the spouse. I mean, Lord have mercy, if it was Candy Burris, she died and she left that money to Todd. And Riley and Kayla and Mama Joyce and Blaze and Ace wasn't in there. Ooh, you talking about somebody be, ooh, Candy head would not rest. She wouldn't rest. So it wouldn't rest. It would be some turmoil over there in those households. But I'm just giving y'all that example. Um, that's why I say you should always have a meeting. It's probably in the meeting you wouldn't want to have, but then you know you're at peace. And everybody know what's going on. <clears throat> when you're talking about leaving money to relatives and, and, and uh, children and all that. So they can fight it out while you're here. You know what I'm saying? But even though ain't shit gonna change, because you already thought it out before even bringing them the situation. Like, this person's getting this, this person's getting that, this is why, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That's kind of like a cowardly way to do things when you don't present uh, a united front on, you know, this is what my fortune is that I've made on this earth. But, you know, we don't know when we're gonna leave this earth, so I just want to make sure everybody's straight. And everybody's on one accord. And these are the readings of who's getting what, when, and where. Okay. Uh, that's why I just think. You know, maybe I'm stupid for thinking that way. I don't know. I don't think I'm stupid. I think it's the fairest thing you could do. So, it won't, you know, if you're going to fuss at somebody for not leaving you 15 when you had 40 million, you only give them 15. And, you know, y'all need to hash that out. Y'all need to talk about it. It still ain't going to change shit. But maybe they'll understand the reasoning of why you just gave them that. You know, and 14 million, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, but I'll see y'all next video, guys. But get down in them comments now. Let me know. Let me y'all tell me what y'all thought about the situation. Mama over there singing with her daughter half the time. They making hits, making records, singing all kind of, you know, hymns and, and praising and worship songs along with the country. Uh, songs they did, you know, they they charmed out as well. Uh, do y'all think it's bad that she didn't leave her grown ass children no money? You know, do you do you think she should have left all that money to little Larry over there? You know, well, y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. I want to know. Because I'm nosy as hell. All right. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.